back with another motherboard from ASRock and today we're having something definitely aesthetically pleasing the B550 Tai Chi motherboard for the AMD Ryzen processors now this will be definitely an interesting video for me because first of all the design is just perfect and well we're going to test a Ryzen 9 3900X on it. So guys, stay tuned and let's go to the benchmarks, overview, details and everything else. When it comes to some key features of the ASRock B550 Tai Chi motherboard, you have Dr. Moss 50 amperes DDR4 memory going up to 4733 MHz in XMP Wi-Fi 6. Uh, we have the Hyper M.2 going up to 64 gigabits per second with PCI E Gen 4 times 4. You have 2.5 gigabit LAN with 2500 megabits per second speed. Uh, basically this is something really impressive which can basically handle to 2500 megabits per second now 16 power phase completely smooth power delivery to the CPU when it comes to some key features that are really sticking out super alloy XXL aluminium heatsink you have the premium 60 amper power choke with 50 amper DR MOS premium memory alloy choke uh, also combo caps with Nichicon 12k black caps, IO armor, matte black PCB board with high density glass fabric and 2 ounce copper. So guys I'm, I'm really excited about this board because uh, it is really packed with loads of features and let's check out the box content except for the motherboards just to see what else you get because the box is huge, it's, it's really huge. So, so apart from the motherboard we have a box content which kind of looks okay. Let's see, we have two SATA connectors, we have the Wi-Fi antenna with the connectivity and the stand. You have a nice ASRock, uh, this is Torx for removing the front um, alloy heatsink for the M.2 uh, SSDs. You have two more. SATA ports, SATA cables, not ports, cables. You have two standoffs for your M.2 and two screws for your M.2 SSDs. We also have here a quick installation guide and we have something else here. Let's check this out. So you have a postcard. As I said, always with the ASRock, you can send it to your friends and brag about your motherboard. You have stickers to address the cable so you know which cable is which. You have the DVD for installation and you have the Velcro style as well uh, and finally we have the software setup guide that's it that's it for the box content now let's go and check out the motherboard with the full benchmark and specifications now when we're talking about BIOS from the ASRock B550 Tai Chi it's almost the same as any other uh, ASRock motherboard very intuitive and very easy to handle but of course you have the Tai Chi graphics and everything that it shows you so let's start for the main it shows you the uh, UEFI BIOS version you have the processor type speed microcode update and total memory next with the OC tweaker you have the all the possibilities to uh, overclock your processor, uh, load XMP settings, uh, DRAM frequency and voltage and infinite fabric frequency and dividers with DRAM timing configuration, external voltage settings and load line calibration which you can preset up to four profiles uh, for your RAMs. Uh, in the advanced menu you have CPU configuration, onboard device configuration, storage, ACPI, trusted computing and all the AMD PBS overclocking and CBS. Under the tools you have easy ride installer so basically this is where you can adjust your ride fields over your hard drives or SSDs. You can also use the SSD secure erase tool if you decide to I don't know do anything you wish and you have the NVMe sanitation tool and instant flash. 
hardware monitor shows you of course the CPU temperature, motherboard temperature, uh, all the fan speed, uh, voltages and all the other necessary stuff that you might be interested. Security goes up to the supervisor password, the user password, secure boot and uh, hard drive security configuration which shows you what hard drives you have or SSDs. And after that, that's basically it. Everything else is just going through the motherboard BIOS and trying to do some wonders with overclocking. Now, talking about uh, more features that would be very interesting for you with the B550 Tai Chi motherboard, you have the metal backplate on the back side of the board which straightens the motherboard to prevent bending caused by heavy coolers or graphic cards. Next thing, unbeatable heat armor with Hyper M.2 generation 4x4 which they placed uh, a forge with aluminum alloy heatsink top cover that effectively improves heat dissipation for your M.2 SSD. So you have the Hyper M.2 SSD uh, on uh, top M.2 slot and you have the Ultra M.2. Reinforced steel slot for the PCI 4.0 version uh, which kind of gives the extra anchor points, stronger latch, ensures signal stability and make sure that heavy graphic cards don't sag that much or to be well installed. Of course they're always mentioning the flexible IEO shield so that's kind of cool to add to the whole thing of the motherboard. Now let's go to the benchmarks where uh, I actually tested it with the IDEA 64 GP GPU benchmark uh, so Ryzen 9 3900X over at 100% load uh, running from 60 to 70 maybe touching 72 Celsius degrees and getting some nice scores definitely but I was actually trying to get more load on the processor trying to check out the temperatures and to see if the B550 will actually have any difference in the temperatures with uh, comparing to X570. Now AIDA 64 cache and memory benchmark we had the memory speeds at XMP uh, disabled so write was going up to 36,200 megabytes per second, write speed 35.2 thousand megabytes per second and copy 37,000 megabytes per second. In Cinebench R15, so I tested the R15 because I can compare with other results uh, that I had. The OpenGL, which kind of has the 99.62% of reference uh, for the graphic cards, scored 160.07 FPS with the RTX 2080 Super. CPU Multithread, 2985 Cinebench points, which kind of takes the lead well basically goes to the second place but I'm not taking into consideration the Thread Reaper, the new Thread Reaper with uh, 64 cores and CPU single thread uh, scores 195 Cinebench points the board even though it's a B550 and if you compare it to B450 and take into consideration that those boards are definitely lacking in features compared to the X470 the B550 Tai Chi definitely doesn't lack with features compared to the X570 boards. So, packed with basically incredible design and everything. The generation uh, 4 times 4 for uh, speeds for the M.2 SSDs. You have incredible results on benchmarks. Uh, the BIOS is really user friendly and taking into consideration all the cooling and the backplates and everything that the B450 motherboard didn't have this is definitely an outstanding board taking into consideration it's B550 prepared for the 4000 series of the AMD Ryzen processors I don't know what to say it might be a bit of a higher price for um, I think it's circulating around 300 to 400 euros but if you're thinking of going with the AMD Ryzen 4000 uh, series processors uh, and if you want a motherboard packed with full features and everything that I mentioned so far, uh, I think this might be the board. I don't think people will be going with this kind of board with low range AMD processors. This is more of a high end and premium motherboard and that is what I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm always preferring the high end boards, but this is definitely an epic board. So guys, yeah, thank you for watching for today's video. It's a bit longer since uh, I tried to cover almost everything from the uh, ASRock B550 Tai Chi motherboard. 
uh, definitely thumbs up and PC Crazy approved badge for the, the Tai Chi model. Uh, put the links below for it so you can check out more details, specifications and if I miss something you can definitely check that out below. Uh, of course don't forget to like, subscribe if you still didn't for future content and I'll see you in another one. Bye bye.